Hey guys, today I am filming my makeup inventory for January of 2019. If you guys have never seen any of my other makeup inventory videos before, I'll have them all linked down below in case you're interested to see how my collection has changed over the years. So basically I'm going to be going through my makeup collection category by category, telling you how many products I have currently, as well as showing you the exact products that I have. I will also be comparing these numbers to my numbers from July of 2018. I like to do these every six months now. And then for some of these categories, I do have a goal number of where I would like to ideally end up. I'm gonna try not to make a bunch of excuses in this video but I have a lot of stuff and I like it that way. Now I am a project painter, but I do have a much larger collection than a lot of other painters out there and I am okay with that. I also wanted to mention that I do have a makeup inventory Excel spreadsheet on my computer with every single item in my collection organized from oldest to newest. That way I know what products I want to work through first. It helps me pull things for project pans. And that is a Excel spreadsheet that was created by Meg's Makeup 8. I will have the video linked down below where she talks about it and there is a link where you can download it and then you can put all of your products in there. I made one for makeup and I have another one for skincare. It's super helpful and it was super fun for me to put together. It was very challenging but it was very fun so i would definitely recommend that as well if you're wanting to organize all of your products and without further ado here are all the items i have in my collection for primer i currently have 15 five are full size and 10 are deluxe size samples at my last update i had 18 so my numbers have gone down in this category i know i still have quite a few but i really love trying out different primers and these three here are all unopened and those are primers I loved so much that I felt they were worth it in the full size or the travel size. So I have the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer, Urban Decay Optical Illusion, Too Faced Primed and Peachy, Cover Effects Mattifying, Dr. Brandt Pores No More, Murad Age Reform Invisibler Perfecting Shield, Cover Effects Illuminating, Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating, Dermalogica Skin Perfect, Benefit Professional Cover Effects Blurring, Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, the Murad Oil Control Mattifier, Becca Velvet Blurring, and the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Mattifying Primer. My ideal number for this category would be to have three or four. I absolutely love these three right here and I would love to be testing out another one. I actually love this for pore filling and both of those for different mattifying primers. This one mattifies a little bit more so I think this would be good for some of the colder months in the year and this would be good for the warmer months. And then I actually also really enjoy the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. The Ordinary High Adherence one is really nice too but I would say three or four primers. For foundation, I currently have nine. At my last update, I had seven, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I have the Hard Candy Glamouflage in Porcelain, which I use as a mixer, ColourPop No Filter, Catrice HD Liquid Coverage, Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage, The Ordinary Coverage, Estee Lauder Double Wear, Bare Minerals Bare Pro, Kat Von D Locket Tattoo and the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. My ideal number in this category would be three. I want to always have the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. I love the formulas together. I think it helps give me my perfect color. And then I would like to be testing out one other foundation. So I do have a good ways to go with my goal. And for concealer, I currently have seven. At my last update, I had seven, so my numbers have stayed the same in this category. I have a deluxe size sample of the Becca Under Eye Corrector, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the Brightener shade, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 00 and Fair 4, Tarte Shape Tape in Fair, and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in Extra Light. My ideal number for this category would be to have three concealers. I love Estee Lauder Double Wear for blemishes, the Tarte Shape Tape for under my eyes, and I don't need a white mixer if I have a good shade of Tarte Shape Tape, but then I've also really fallen in love with my 
MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I just recently used that one up, but it works so well for me when I'm needing to clean up some eyeshadow, fill in my forehead wrinkles. So that's something I love so much. I definitely would like to repurchase that. So I love trying out new concealers, but those are my top three that I want to always have in my collection. For powder, I currently have eight. At my last update, I had 12, so my numbers have gone down in this category. I have four loose powders for pressed powders, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose in the shade Five Fair, Too Faced Peach Perfect Derma Blend Translucent Loose Powder, and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder. For pressed, I have the Aromal Stay Matte, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, and the NYX Hashtag No Filter, and the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder. My ideal number for this category would be either four or five, which I know sounds intense. So I really like the Derma Blend or the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder to set my under eyes. I think I like Laura Mercier a little bit better. For face powders, I love these two here in combination to get like perfect formula, perfect shade. For a touch up powder, Rimmel Stay Matte is Holy Grail. And for a pressed powder with coverage, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin is Holy Grail, but they did just discontinue this, so that's a shame. So that's why I would say four or five would be my ideal number. And these three down here are very close to being used up. And the Makeup Forever is just a look sample size, so I think I'll be able to get my numbers down significantly pretty soon. For cream and liquid cheek products, I currently have five. At my last update, I had three, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I have the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Cream Blush and Bronzer, the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour, a Lancome Cream Blush, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer, and a deluxe sample size of the Benefit Dandelion Dew. And my ideal number for this category would be one. I like these other products and it's fun to try them out, but the only thing that I love so much I would actually want to repurchase is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. That's so beautiful in the summertime. For bronzer, I currently have six. At my last update, I had four, so my numbers have gone up in this category. The two new ones I've gotten since then would be the Smashbox Contour Kit and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. The other ones I have would be a deluxe sample size of the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, Benefit Hula, the Milani Matte Baked Bronzer in Sunset, and the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the Bronzer shade. My ideal number for this category would be four bronzers, which I know sounds like a lot, but I really enjoy having different tones for all four seasons. So my favorite ones so far would be the top three here, which are like holy grail to me. I also really enjoy the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Delay. These two here, I just need to use more to decide if they're also must-haves for contour. I currently have seven. At my last update, I had five. So my numbers have gone up in this category. The new additions would be this little deluxe sample size of the Bobbi Brown bronzer, and then again, the Smashbox Contour Kit, just to show you what this looks like. This is also like a little mini travel version. You've got a matte highlighter, a bronzer, and a contour. So I just counted these in both of the categories. And then I have the Milani Matte Baked Bronzer in Sienna, Sleek Contour Kit in Light, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, The Balm Take Home the Bronze in Oscar or Oliver, and the NYX Blush in Taupe. My ideal number for this category, again, would be four. I like to have one for each season. My only holy grail in this pile though would be the Milani Matte Baked Bronzer in Sienna. I just love that color so much. The Sleek Contour Kit is really nice, but mine is getting very old. I do like Chocolate Soleil and I am enjoying the one from the Balm. I do like the NYX one, but sometimes it might look a little bit too purpley on me and I have not used the Bobbi Brown very much. And again, I haven't used the Smashbox very much either, but I've got some decisions to make this year if I'm wanting to get down to my ideal number. For blushes, I currently have 39. At my last update, I also had 39, so my numbers have stayed the same in this category. Since my last update, I've gotten these four new ones, and of course, this is just an example of the brands that I have in my collection. These are not all the blushes that I own, but I'm really happy that my numbers have stayed the same. Obviously, I did get rid of a few blushes, and the four new ones I have would be the Laura Geller Baked Blush and 
Tropic Hues, Becca Mineral Blush in Snapdragon, Tarte Amazon Clay Blush in Captivating, and the Ciate Illuminating Blush in Summer Love. And then some of the other brands that I have in my collection, Clinique Cheek Pops, The Balm, NARS, ELF, and I have a bunch of different MAC blushes. And I actually do not have an ideal number in this category. For highlighter, I currently have 13. At my last update, I had 10, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I have the NYX Duo Chromatic Highlight in Snow Rose, a Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter from the Zodiac Collection, Kat Von D Thunderstruck, Laura Geller French Vanilla, Becca Pearl, Wet n Wild White Raven, the Balm Mary Luminizer, Pixie and Aspen Ovard in London Luster, I have Ofra Glaze Donut and Pillow Talk, both of the Pixie Glowy Gossamers and the Anastasia Amrezi Highlight. My ideal number for this category would be four as well because again, I like having one for each different season, but my two holy grails would definitely be the Balm Mary Luminizer and the Anastasia Amrezi. Those are the two I always want to have in my collection but as i said i would love to have one for each season so my ideal number is four for face palettes i have four at my last update i only had one i had the nars Gibordine, so my numbers have definitely gone up in this category i have the cat d alchemist palette the pixie glow cake and gilded bare glow and the physician's formula butter palette in the medium to deep shade i do not have an ideal number in this category and lastly for face products i have my setting sprays i currently have four at my last update i also had four but these are different than last time but i'm happy that my number has stayed the same so i have the urban decay all nighter mac fix plus ColourPop All Star and the Too Faced Peach Mist. My ideal number for this category would actually be two. Usually it's always been one or zero, but I really love having MAC Fix Plus and then some other traditional setting spray. Moving on to brows for brow wax. I currently have one at my last update. I also had one, so my numbers have stayed the same. And the one I have is the NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. For eyebrow pencils, I currently have five. At my last update, I had three, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I have the NYX Micro Brow, Benefit Precisely My Brow, Benefit Goof Proof, Maybelline Total Temptation, and the Anastasia Brow Definer. My ideal number for this category would just be to have two, a micro style pencil, and then a thicker angled brow pencil. For brow pomade, I currently have one at my last update i also had one so my numbers have stayed the same i have the benefit cabral pomade for brow powder i currently have one at my last update i had two so my numbers have gone down in this category i currently have the Lorac take a brow kit in the shade blonde which is holy grail and i did just recently use up the mac eyeshadow in omega that i was using for a more cool tone brow option but i definitely think the Lorac suits my hair color best for brow gel i currently have four at my last update I had three so my numbers have gone up in this category I've got two tinted and two clear for the tinted versions I have the Maybelline brow precise fiber volumizer and the benefit gimme brow for clear brow gels I have the Anastasia clear brow gel and the benefit 24 hour brow setter my ideal number for this category would be just to have two brow gels one clear and one tinted my favorite clear is the Anastasia clear brow gel and my favorite tinted is the NYX tinted brow mascara in the shade blonde for eye primer I currently have three at my last update i had four so my numbers have improved in this category i had a few that had unfortunately gone bad and i did use up a few as well i also don't know if i included my glitter primer in my last inventory but i'm definitely going to continue doing that from now on so what i have is the nars smudge proof eyeshadow base the milani eyeshadow primer and the nyx glitter primer my ideal number for this category would be two one regular shadow primer and one glitter primer for cream shadow pots, I currently have four. At my last update, I had 11, so my numbers have definitely gone down in this category. Unfortunately, I had to throw out quite a few Maybelline color tattoos because they had just gone bad. So the ones I have now would be pomegranate punk, bad to the bronze, too cool and bold gold, 
These three here are all new where I had purchased some fresh ones over the summer. And then Pomegranate Punk, I just cannot get rid of, even though it's old and I've had to revive it so many times because the color is so unique to me. So I actually don't have an ideal number for this category. I would like to work through these, but I also love having these shades as bases. I don't have anything quite like these. First shadow six, I currently have 10. And my last update, I had eight. So my numbers have gone up in this category. I have gotten a few new ones recently, the Balm Batter Up Shadow Sticks. I got these to replace some of the shades, the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I definitely prefer using shadow sticks over shadow pots because they're just more convenient. So I've got several from the Balm, one from Mally, one from L'Oreal, a few of the Milani Shadow Eyes Pencils, and one mini of the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. And I do not have an ideal number for this category. I love having different colors to use with different shadows. For liquid shadows, I currently have 15. At my last update, I had eight. So my numbers have definitely gone up in this category. I have a little sample of a milk eye pigment, a sample of a touch and soul liquid and glitter shadow duo, Essence Metal Shock, a few ColourPop Supernova, all the shades of the Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights, and a few shades of the Stila Glitters and Glows. I do not have an ideal number for this category. I don't want this collection to grow too huge because I don't use glitter shadows a ton, but I think these are all beautiful and I'm happy to have them in my collection. For single shadows, I currently have 26. At my last update, I also had 26, so my numbers have stayed the same in this category. And I think all of my shadows are the same as last time. So I have a few L'Oreal Infallibles, a NYX single, a Prestige Total Intensity single, a Dirty Little Secrets eyeshadow, a Makeup Geek pigment, three of the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots, a few of MAC Extra Dimension Shadows, a MAC Color Drenched Pigment, five of the LA Colors Matte Shadows, two shadows from Clinique, and I have several from Urban Decay. I do not have an ideal number in this category, but I would like to test out some more of these this year to make sure that I have to have all of them in my collection. For ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, I currently have 33. At my last update, I had 38, so my numbers have definitely gone down in this category this is obviously just a selection of them these are actually the shades I have pulled to use this spring and summer I love my ColourPop Super Shock so much I've unfortunately had to throw away a few I've decluttered a few but I actually used up quite quite a few last year so I'm hoping to definitely use up the others I have in my collection. There are a few I maybe could declutter but honestly I love a lot of these so so much and I definitely don't have an ideal number in this category. For small palettes I currently have eight. At my last update I had nine so my numbers have slightly gone down in this category. I did declutter a few but what I have right now would be the Dose of Colors, Blushing Berries, Marvelous Mauves, and Baked Browns, the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette, the Huda Beauty Mauve and Coral and Amethyst Obsessions, and a Maybelline Eye Studio Plush Silk Quad. I do not have an ideal number in this category. For large palettes, I currently have 32. At my last update, I had 31, so my numbers have slightly gone up in this category, but not too bad. And these are the four new palettes I have gotten since my last update. So the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Volume 1, Lime Crime Venus Original, the ColourPop My Little Pony palette, and the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Bling Boss palette. I also do not have an ideal number in this category. For liquid liner, I currently have four. At my last update, I had five, so my numbers have slightly gone down in this category. I have two unopened and two that are currently in use. The unopened would be the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen. I also have the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. My open ones would be the Balm Schwing and the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. My ideal number for this category would be just to have one, and the one that I would repurchase out of all of these I don't even currently have. That would be the Physician's Formula Eye Boost Liquid Liner. That one is just as good as the Clinique, except it's a little bit more inexpensive. So that would be the one that I would choose. For pencil liner, I currently have 13. At my last update, I had 12. So my numbers have unfortunately gone up slightly in this category. I have little minis from Tarte, Lorac, Marc Jacobs. I've got some liners from 
Pixie, Maybelline, ColourPop, Stila, and Urban Decay. I do not have an ideal number for this category. I definitely don't need three black liners. I would love to try to work through those, but I love having different colored liners. For mascara, I currently have 13. At my last update, I also had 13, so my numbers have stayed the same, but obviously I've used them up. I've gotten some new ones, so I only have one full size. It's the Maybelline Total Temptation, and then I have a bunch of deluxe sizes I've gotten as free gifts or in Sephora plays. I don't have an ideal number for this category. For lip liners, I currently have 10. At my last update, I had nine, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I have a little mini from Sephora, one from Real Her, one from Marc Jacobs, and several from ColourPop. I do not have an ideal number for this category. I would like to use up a few of these, but I do enjoy having different colors of lip liners, and the ColourPop definitely is my favorite formula. For bullet lipsticks, I currently have 23. At my last update, I had 27, so my numbers have gone down in this category. I was able to use up a few in 2018, which is great. These right here are minis, and the rest of these are full size. I have some of the Tarte Color Splash lipsticks, some from Bite, Nude Sticks, Too Faced, Smashbox, Sephora Collection, Urban Decay, Vice lipsticks and Revolution lipsticks, some MAC Sheen Supremes, some of the ColourPop Matte Luxe lipsticks, a ColourPop Matte lipstick, a Revlon Super Lustrous, and two of the Maybelline Shine Compulsion lipsticks. I don't have an ideal number for this category, but I just don't want to have more than 24. I would like all of my lipsticks minis and full size to stay in this one organizational piece. For ColourPop lippy sticks, I currently have 12. At my last update, I had 16. So my numbers have gone down in this category and I did declutter a few of them that weren't my favorite colors or formulas anymore. I also do not have an ideal number for this category. For jumbo lip pencils, I currently have 12. At my last update, I had nine, so my numbers have gone up in this category. I was able to use up one, but I did get a lot of these little mini nude sticks over the past year. I had a few and a free gift. So what I have in here would be the Tarte Matte Lip Surgences, a Bite Matte Lip Crayon, some of the MAC Patent Polished Lip Pencils, some of the different formulas of the nude sticks pencils, and then one of the NARS velvet matte. I don't have an ideal number for this category, but again, I don't want to have any more than 24. I do not want them to overflow from this one organizer. For liquid lipsticks, this number is terrible. I have 49. These are just the full size ones. I'll show you the minis in a second. At my last update, I had 38, which is still bad. So my numbers have gone up significantly, which is terrible. And I don't even use liquid lipsticks every day. I definitely need to test these out, go through them, stop buying liquid lipsticks in particular. Like this number is like freaking me out. So for my full size ones, I've got all of these from Anastasia. I have some from Jouer, Dose of Colors, Lime Crime, Ofra. I have one from Too Faced and Sephora Collection. I also have five of the Pixie liquid lipsticks. Now on to the minis. Here are all of my mini liquid lipsticks. I love them in this organizer. They fit so well. They look so cute, but I don't reach for them enough. So in the minis, I've got some from Sephora Collection, Tarte, NARS, Bare Minerals, Smashbox, Stila, and Kat Von D. I don't have an ideal number for this category. Obviously, it has overgrown my storage. I would like to have still this for minis and then the other organizer for my full size of lipsticks and then stay just to that. I'd be much happier with that. I think that's a little bit more realistic, but dang, this is not good. And then we have my ColourPop liquid lipstick. So I have ultra blotted lip, ultra satin lips, and ultra matte. I currently have nine. At my last update, I had 13. So my numbers have gone down in this category. I have decluttered or thrown out a few more of these. And I don't have an ideal number for this category either. These are also in my chopping block along with the lippy sticks because I want to test them out and make sure I still love them and want to keep them in my collection. And my last category would be lip glosses. I currently have 17. At my last update, I had 24. So my numbers have significantly gone down in this category, which is exciting. I've used up a few and I did declutter some as well. 
So what I currently have would be a few minis from Buxom, Pop Sugar, and La Rock, as well as Bare Minerals, another Buxom, and one from Anastasia. My full size glosses would be NYX Butter Glosses, Elf Tinted Lip Oils, a few of the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips, uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach, a few from Anastasia, and then three from Buxom. I also do not have an ideal number for this category, but I would like a max max of 24. Again, I do not want to own more than will fit in this one organizational piece. So guys, if that was my makeup inventory for January of 2019, I would love to know your all's numbers in the comments down below, or if you have filmed one of these on your channel, please let me know so I can go check it out. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.